Hey guys, um, Gemro Jets Collector here today. Um, today I'm going to bring you a review of my model airport, which I've um, just made in the last day and a half. It's my first one, and I'm pretty pleased how it turned out. So, yeah, sorry, let's get started. So, on um, coming in for a bit of crosswind landing, I've got the Singapore Airlines Megatop. Boeing 747-400. They um pulled the 747 out of their fleet quite a long time ago. In fact, in 2007, I think, in favour of the A380. So this shouldn't be here, but um, it the A380 for Singapore Airlines is really rare. So well, all of their are aircraft to get are really rare. So I was lucky I got this. So yeah, it's really good. Um, then over here, along. All the way here is um, Terminal 2, which is very new for Star Alliance. Um, I think it was, yes, yeah, Singapore Airlines had a stake in Virgin Atlantic, but currently Delta bought that, so I, but I'm pretending that Singapore um, still has the um, stake in them, so I can save space by put, moving Virgin into the... Um, into the Star Alliance when usually they would be in Terminal 3 so yeah so I've got a Virgin Atlantic um, Ruby Tuesday Boeing 747-400 very nice model then over here I've got the Virgin Atlantic A340-600 just being pushed back I will get the um, ground staff um, soon and um, make terminals and get the air bridges so it will be complete soon. This is called um, Sleeping Beauty. Then I've got the Asiana um, Boeing 747-400, very nice model. Then over there, so over here, I've got the... American Airlines, Boeing 777-300ER, just taxiing to the runway. Yep, so then over at the end of the runway, I've got, I've got the Lufthansa Star Alliance. Um, they wouldn't usually send, well, it would be quite strange to send a 747 with such a short distance from Frank Frankfurt, but this is because it's going for a pre-clearance off to Los Angeles to um, save time for the um, holiday tourists, so that's good. Then, over here, this is, um, well, all along um, there, all the way along there, and stop there is Terminal 5, which I'm going to build soon. I've got the short haul gates, four of them along here. Now I've got four long haul gates. I'm going to order the 747 to go there and the 777 to go there. So that'll be good. Um, so, firstly, I've got the now retired um, British Airways 737 200. With the Olympic livery teaming up for Britain, um, it says at the front in really small writing, um, Sydney 2000. So it's a very nice model. Then here I've got the British Airways A319 um, registration GEUPA. This is a very nice model and a rare model as well. Got, didn't get it quite that cheap on eBay, in fact. Then, over here, I've got the lineup of British Airways A380s. Both same registration. I think they brought, I think Gemini Jets brought out another one for March, um, March 2013 releases. Um, the registration is GXLEA. It's got the to fly to serve symbol at the back of the um, logo. It's a very nice model. So, yep. Um, then this from uh, this from there all the way along to there to the um, that um, Emirates plane is Terminal Three, which is um, which is um, exclusive to One World carriers. 
the back there are some different airlines which aren't in any um alliances. So start with this. Seven three hundred ER in the one world um livery. It really is a nice model this one. Very nice. So that's um that's staying there for a bit, then it's gonna go off to Hong Kong. Then there's a Qantas going off to Dubai as it for its new transit home to European um cities for his par partnership with Emirates. Then over here I've got the Emirates 7200 LR, which is a very nice model. Registration A6EWD. So yeah, very nice model. So that brings the end of my um, review. Hope you like it. I'll bring more reviews from this airport once I've expanded it or got new planes. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.